Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Audi A4 V7. Motors 1.6, 1.8T and 2.0 MPI are the same here as on their predecessor, but the 2.0 TFSI engine that appeared with a capacity of 170 to 120 horsepower is new here. It could be found on cars in the old body of the last year of manufacture, but their number is extremely small. On the V7, this is already one of the most common engines. The transition to turbocharged direct injection allowed a slight increase in power in torque compared to 1.8T, but the car received a whole set of problems with 2.0 FSI engines in the form of capricious and expensive injection equipment. A very unreliable piston with constantly coked piston rings, clogged crankcase ventilation and firmware problems. We figured out the firmware quickly enough, but no one was in a hurry to solve the rest of the troubles. After several replacements, the piston engines became less hungry for oil, the crankcase ventilation was also changed, and by the end of the model's release, the motor already seemed to be the standard of reliability against the background of newcomers. But the engine turned out to have the highest potential for boosting. It was not without reason that this engine was put on the Golf R even after this line of engines had already been discontinued. New 3.2 FSI with 255 horsepower, no better than turbocharged ones in terms of reliability. In this generation, the brand's engine were not at all lucky. Here in mass leisure and overheating and failures of the power system. But the most unpleasant surprises was that the piston broke of its aluminum engine and problems with the timing chain. The cylinders here are aluminum, which means they are easy to damage. And due to a miscalculation in the design of the piston group and an abundance of suit, such motors regularly lift up. At the end of the existence of the model, a recall campaign was carried out on the market. In an attempt to reduce the temp of the motors, the thermostat was changed to less hot one. The effectiveness of this measure turned out to be small, but still it can help motors that are operated mainly in urban areas. Otherwise, we can advise you to change the oil more often, use ester and PAO positions, and change oil air filters more often. And the 4.2 engine is new here. Unlike the engines of the ASG, AQJ, and AQ series, completely new BBK BNS were installed here. Their timing chain mechanism looks like a work of art. The mass is less than 200 kg, the highest power, but, but you should take the Audi S4 or RS4. All the problems of 3.2 FSI are here, besides the cylinder block turning out to be frankly weak. Fortunately, RS buyers are usually ready for a short resource and high cost of maintaining such a lighter, which cannot be said about the owners of the huge top-end Q7 crossover, on which these engines were also installed. Perhaps this is one of the short-lived series of engines of the German concern. There was simply nothing to upgrade there, and after three years of the announcement, the production of cars with these engines was simply turned off. If you need high power, then your choice is tuning 2.0 TFSI or even 1.8 T. And if you want out of the box, then the previous S4 produced before 2004 or the next one after 2008. Pay attention to what service intervals operated the car. If the owner sincerely believed that long life makes it possible not to change the oil for 15-20 thousand kilometers, then the condition of even 1.8T and atmospheric 2.0 will be very poor, and subsequent repairs will be expensive. Diesel engines have changed little. They are exactly the same 1.9 TDI and 2.0 that were on the Golf 5 Audi A6 and others. 2.7 and 3.0 diesel are also considered successful engines. The main problems include expensive piezo injectors with a limited resource and a tendency to fuel leakage which can lead to piston melting, for example. The motor also has a complex timing mechanism with several tensioners. It can unexpectedly fail at the most inopportune moment and, ex and is extremely expensive to repair. In addition to the traditional diesel problems with fuel equipment and AGR, it is worth remembering the poor lubrication of the camshaft on 2.4 TDI with unit injection. 2.5 TDI engines have no problems with injectors, but it is not less problemsome from this. An older design often pleases with problems with lubrication pressure and even problems with the piston group. As with the previous A4, manual transmissions are no problem, as in the transmission itself as a whole. Even all-wheel drive quadros are no less reliable, because there are no clutches and other transmission electronics. CVTs are also very resistant, although they have a limited chain resource, about 100-150 thousand kilometers, and will require expensive repairs if they are not replaced on time or if the drive cones are damaged by towing a car. CVTs also don't like harsh driving style and dirty oil and can be very expensive if not used properly. But with careful operation and replacing the chain on time, they can cover all 300 or more thousand kilometers without annoying minor problems. All with drive versions of the Quadro were equipped with a new 6-speed ZF6HP19 automatic transmission. New here is not at all a synonym for best. 
Experts note a smaller resource of bushings of the box, torque converter, friction clutches, solenoids and valve body. This is due to an attempt to get closer in terms of efficiency and clarity of work to DSG boxes in much more stringent settings for electronic part. This means that there are much greater shock loads, slippage of friction clutches, even in standard operation and a large thermal load. The hydraulics and electronics unit here finally took shape in a mechatronic with a very dense layout but still repayable. For owners, all this means that the gearbox on a car that was operated with a trailer or just a racer will already be in a pre hard attack condition and may require expensive repairs even with just over 100 runs. However, even for cars that are operated quietly with runs closer to 150 to 100,000 km, their repair will be cheaper but also serious, at least with the repair of the gas turbine engine and the bulkhead of the box itself to replace worn bushings and VFS solenoids. Unfortunately, in this generation of machines, the variator turned out to be stronger than the classic machine. Audi's service policy also contributed to this in many respects. After all, the old automatic transmission didn't officially change, and instead of the usual ATF, the manufacturer allowed pouring only extremely expensive branded oil, the cost of which discouraged any service procedures. Of course, in fact, you can pour the same oil there as in other ZF machines, and you don't need to buy a branded one at 3000 rubles per liter. By the way, this automatic transmission on BMW proved to be somewhat better, including perhaps due to the mandatory replacement of fluids. The suspension of the car have changed little compared to the previous A4, and in general the problem is the same. The high cost of quality components, the presence of many levers, and the need for responsible and complete suspension repairs every time. She doesn't tolerate bitching and requires a complete check and diagnostics in advance, and not, what, and not when something has already started knocking. First of all, both ball bearings in the front and lower arms in the front and rear suspension traditionally fail, but with the right approach and careful operation, the suspension will cover 100-150,000 km without the complete overhaul, with the replacement of only the most rare parts. As on its predecessor, there is a conventional steering rack and a conventional power steering pump, but the proven design is far from eternal. With runs over 100,000, hydraulic leaks often begin, and when operating on bad roads, the rack will also knock. By the way, this is an occasion to carefully examine the suspension, then perhaps it will also not be in the best condition. The body is well painted, protected with plastic wear possible, and in this generation of cars you don't have to worry about it. The salon is traditionally of good quality, and due to the younger age of cars, frankly worn almost never occurs. But there are more service electronics, which means more problem with it. It's funny that the old troubles with the comfort unit, micro switches and limit sensors have not gone away. But a lot of small glitches have been added with a mirror clip drive, gas tank hatch, rear door lock and trunk drive. The corrugations of the wiring still do not withstand operation in another climate and are prone to brakes and short circuit, be careful. The short resource of the air conditioning compressor didn't pass even B7. In general, there were enough weak points in general. But if there were more of them, then rather because of the increased number of systems and not because of a decrease in their quality. When buying cars with good equipment, pay attention to the work of adaptive headlights. The motors inside have a limited resource and if the car was operated in a mountainous area or along domestic country roads, then there are chances of getting into expensive repairs or even replacing the headlights entirely. This is the end of the information about the problems of the Audi A4 P7. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.